to recipe of the day. We are doing a special show today for Easter. We have a yummy, I probably want a tire today. You can tell we are doing recipes today with lemons. Of course, lemons that I grew on my tree. I'm so proud of my farming ability. <laughs> but we are making, happens to be a way that we're worked out three lemon recipes today. We're going to be making a yummy, a yummy lemon alfredo pasta for Easter, a brunch idea instead of mac and cheese. I thought this sounded fun and yummy and easy. So we're gonna start with that. And then I have a lemon cocktail with some lemon cello and a champagne cocktail for brunch for Easter. And then I'm also making an appetizer um, that has some lemon in it too. We're gonna to make a smoked salmon dip with, uh, I'm actually gonna serve it on celery, but you can serve it on whatever you would like. And that is what we're gonna get started with today. So I'm gonna start by putting my um, pasta in the water here and I'll show you I bought this really pretty look at these these little nests of course Easter show we needed to start with nests right so I've got these nests I'm going to put two packages of these in the water and let them get started um, while we get started on the sauce so let me dump these in get them open here how is everyone today everyone having a nice Thursday it's like 85 degrees here it's crazy so I guess Summer is here on April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day, by the way. Okay, the nests are going in. Oh my goodness, there we go, those are in. And I'm gonna set the timer real quick because you know, I get talking here and I uh, wanna make sure I don't overcook my pasta because that would be bad. So I'm gonna put in, start our sauce here. So in my big pan, I'm gonna put a couple tablespoons of butter and some olive oil oil here. So three tablespoons of butter. Of course, measured carefully. Get all my pasta in my pot here. Okay. I just thought mac and cheese is such a staple uh, with, to go with ham. Of course, we're having a ham. Put a little olive oil in there too, which helps bring up the smoking point. Hey, Erin and Destiny, how are you guys? We are making a yummy pasta dish for Easter, also an appetizer. And then of course I have to make a signature cocktail, right? So we're gonna get the butter and the, all, the, all, the olive oil going in there. And I'm gonna add this recipe called for one clove of garlic. Well, I haven't used one clove of, gar of garlic ever in my life. So this is more than that. <laughs> this is really two large cloves that I chopped up going in. started there and then I'm going to give my pasta a stir here see how it's see how that's going oh my gosh it's going to be yummy sauce and our garlic going in, in the sauce and I'm going to use a little bit of the pasta water here to go in my sauce I've got a little half a cup so I'm going to take a little bit of water stick it in there yummy and while that is getting started, I'm going to start my, I need my bowl, hold on. I washed it, I need to put my bowl out. So we're going to get started on our yummy smoked salmon dip. So I have a uh, container here of cream cheese that is at room temperature. Oh, thank you. Hi, Lisa. How are you? We're making some things, Easter uh, 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 ideas for Easter brunch. And I'm wearing my lemon dress because they all have lemon today to open this before you guys got here, but I didn't, so now you get to help me open the cream cheese. <laughs> okay, this is room temperature cream cheese because it's easier to mush around. So to that, I'm going to add a half a cup of shallots. I'm gonna put the shallots in there. And I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of fresh chopped dill. Put that in there. Oh my gosh, yeah, this fresh dill smells so good. And I'm gonna mush that around. Get that mixed up, get that started. Oh my goodness. Softened cream cheese is the key to this. <laughs> it's much easier to mix when it's softened. So this is gonna be yummy. Now I use this anytime you wanna use smoked salmon. Um, well, speaking of that, Magic Hands, can you get the smoked salmon out, please? I forgot to get the salmon out. Because <laughs> we are going to use this for smoked salmon dip 
here. I'll show you how I'm going to assemble this. But you can do it any way you would like to. Open that for me, please. And to that, I've got a quarter cup of uh, capers drained that are all, that are already drained. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Do you smoke your own si uh, si uh, salmon too, Lisa? Once you catch it. Oh my goodness. How yummy does this smell? Now I'm going to put a little bit of pepper and salt, just a little bit of salt, because the capers have a lot. for a second while I wait for my pasta to, fit, to finish up. So like a little bit of salt, just a hair, and then a little bit of pepper going in. Oh my gosh, Lisa, homemade smoked salmon, how yummy is that? Delicious. Thank you. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of lemon zest in this. So a pinch of lemon zest going in, because I'm also going to use the lemon zest in our pasta. And then I have some fresh lemon juice. So I'm going to put a little bit in here. Yummy. Oh my goodness. Yum. Mush that around. So I have used this mix also. This is the same mix I used for my smoked salmon pizza. So you can take a bubbly you know, pre-made pizza crust and heat it up and then get it out of the oven, spread this on, and then you put the smoked salmon on top and some capers and dill. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. And to this, because I know my audience, I'm adding one chopped serrano pepper just because that's what we like. I hear my pasta back here do, do, uh, doing the pasta dance. Oh my goodness, yum. How pretty this is. I tried to pick a pretty wide but pretty noodle. These are almost done. I can just tell. Hold on. They're done enough because I'm going to cook them a little more in the pan. So hold on. I'm going to pull these out. Aaron, I have my mitts. Pull this up. There we go. I want to do it that way so I could easily pull it out while you guys pour watching. Let me finish this dip here. So I have my serrano, the capers, the shallot, the lemon, the lemon zest, and that, oh my goodness, smells so good. Make sure, oh, there's my timer. See? I didn't even overcook the pasta. Yay! Okay, let me make sure I'm in there. Got, oh my gosh. Yum! Okay, I'm going to serve this. Now you can use bread. Like I said, you can use it as a pizza. But I am going to use celery. We have quite a few yummy things for eat for Easter, so I thought I would make the appetizer be. This could be low carb, considered low carb. So I'm going to take my celery and put on some of this yummy dip we just made, and then I'm going to top that with a little bit of smoked salmon. Oh my goodness! Now I happen to get the Gravlox type because I like it. But there we go. Look at that. Quick and easy, yummy, low carb appetizer for Easter. Yum! My, uh, my audience, now you could also chop up the salmon and put it in the dip and spread it on. Use crackers or toast or whatever you like. It would be yummy with this. So, oh my gosh, look good, good. I'm gonna smell so good. Hey Denise, how are you? We just did our appetizer, so now we're gonna finish here with um, this pasta. Before we make our signature champagne cocktail for brunch, because I'm sure most of you are having brunch for Easter. So to our pan here, we have our butter and our olive oil and the garlic. I'm gonna throw the pasta in and warm it back up. The pasta going in, it's cooked. Oh my gosh, that looks good. To that, we're gonna add one cup of marscapone cheese. Yes, how yummy is that? Now, marscapone cheese is light cream cheese. It's Italian cre uh, cream cheese. But the cream cheese, let me break this up a little bit. This is also room, t room temperature, so it would melt into our sauce quicker. So let me get that down in the pan to get softening up. Then I'm going to put two cups of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. 
which I grated. I have the rinds here. I could save the rinds for another recipe. But I grated it myself, like we always grate our cheese ourselves, so that um, it, your recipe turns out right and, be, and, and be, uh, be, uh, better when you grate it yourself. It doesn't have the coating on there that they do when you buy the pre-grated yuck. <laughs> so I've got our mascarpone, about two cups of fresh Parmesan in here. I'm also going to add, again, the lemon zest. Probably a couple of tablespoons of lemon zest going in here. I'm going to save a little bit for my cocktail. Oh my gosh, yum. Make sure I got everything in there. Oh, some lemon juice in there. I'm going to put some salt and pepper. Yum! So here's some lemon juice going in. I put four tablespoons of lemon juice, fresh squeezed. Okay. Get this mascarpone melting down here in our Parmesan. Oh my goodness. Yummy. This looks delicious. I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper in that. And I'll tell you the so um, cream cheese is about 33% milk fat. And that's what the USDA cream cheese guidelines are. 33%. So most of the commercial cream cheese is 33% milk fat. Um, mascarpone is 75%, 60 to 75% milk fat. So big difference is why it's so creamy. It's also a little bit tangier, but it is really, um, but you could substitute if you want to use cream cheese, a little bit of cream and a little bit of sa uh, sour cream, you could make your own. But I just recommend go for it and get the mascarpone because it's just delicious. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so yummy. Oh my goodness, I think this needs more pepper, you can tell just by looking at it. We also need a little bit more pasta water. It's, the recipe says you use about a cup and a half of pasta water, so I will grab a little bit more, another half a cup at a time. So our sauce, oh my gosh, it smells so good. You can smell the garlic and the butter, put a little more pepper in here. Gosh, yum! And then to finish that off, we have about a cup and a half of peas that are kind of thought out. <laughs> Took about a few minutes ago. We'll throw those in and let those get warmed up. And oh my gosh, that is our lemon Alfredo pasta in place of mac and cheese for your Easter Sunday brunch. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yummy. I'll show you guys that in a second as we let those, those peas warm up a little bit. I will move on to my cocktail. Yummy. Oh, thank you. Hey, Teresa, Barbara, how are you guys? Yes, I know everybody loves this dress. Isn't it cute? So it must be we're making a lemon cocktail, right? You're right. So we're going to make a champagne cocktail here. And I just got a little split of champagne for you guys. Do you see our appetizer, guys? Yummy. So I'm going to start here. I have a bottle of St. Germain. St. Germain is an elderberry liqueur, and each bottle contains a thousand elderberry petals. Yes, it does. And it's delicious. And then, of course, limoncello. Discovered limoncello in, the, in Italy with my mom. We learned about limoncello many moons ago, and my mom became a le limoncello aficionado. <laughs> for the rest of her life. <laughs> we, uh, she figured out a lot of ways to drink limoncello. <laughs> she loved it. So it always reminds me of her. So I'm going to take um, my beautiful blingy champagne glass here. I'm going to um, rim the top here with some lemon. And then I'm going to actually use, to rim my glass, I'm using the sugar out of the candy ginger package because it was had it left. I used most of the ginger and it had the, the sugar left on the bottom. And I thought, oh my gosh, what would that be perfect for? Rimming a champagne cocktail. How about that? So that is what we're doing here. So rimming our glass with our candied ginger sugar. And then I have a garnish for my 
garden garnish is coming. So my shot glass, of course, one eighth of a cup is a shot glass, equal to, I just hear this back here, um, gur, gur, uh, gurgling away. So I'm going to use one shot of limoncello, and the only reason I'm using the shaker is because I want to cool it off. And the Saint Germain, oh my gosh, smells so good. If you wonder what's in all the fancy cocktails when you go out, and that tastes so good, it's this. So, secret here. And one shot of Saint Germain going in. Yum! Ah! Move my glass here so you can see. And then I'm going to put a little bit of lemon zest in here. And a little bit of lemon juice that I just saved a little bit, maybe a tablespoon. And then I'm going to shake this up. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. That elderberry liqueur has such a yummy smell. Well, taste too. Right now we're just smelling it. So we're going to chill that while we put it in our food here. You know that the elderberry liqueur is popular because um, there was only one bottle left in the store. <laughs> so I'm going to pour in there my concoction of lemoncello and elderberry or St. Germain is what it's called, but it's elder very, very, oh, Lisa, that'd be so fun to uh, go to cooking school in Italy. That is definitely on my list. Italy is my absolute favorite. Okay, I think I need my magic hands to open this. It says it's a twist off, but I don't, we'll, we'll see. And we're going to top this with a little champagne. In this case, of course, I'm using Prosecco to go with my lemoncello. And, oh, it was a twist off. Okay, we got it. Thank you. So we got our Prosecco going in here. Oh my gosh, this looks yummy for our Easter brunch. And then to garnish, I have frozen, I put some raspberries and a piece of candied ginger, you see, on a toothpick. And I'm going to garnish my beautiful cocktail with that. And check it out. Happy Easter to everyone's Easter brunch. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is delicious. I've got the little um, lemon zest floating in the top so you can see what's in there and the ginger candied sugar rim. That is delicious. So you can make a brunch cocktail here with our appetizer, with our smoked salmon appetizer. And let me get some pasta out here and you guys can see this deliciousness. What we made back here, our substitute for... Um, Mac and cheese is lemon alfredo pasta. Oh my gosh, this is, looks delish. I'm trying to heat off that. Our peas are warmed up. It smells so good, the fresh lemon in this. Oh my goodness. So let me grab some and show you what I've got going on here. Yes siree. Yummy. Get a few more peas on there. Then of course I've got a little bit of Parmesan, we can top that with. Got too many things here in front of me. Here's my parm. A little bit more fresh Parmesan on top. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And there we are. Our lemon Alfredo pasta with a few peas in there. And that is our brunch ideas for this year. Our little appetizer, smoked salmon, our pasta, and of course our beautiful champagne cocktail for your Easter brunch. So we are wishing you guys a very happy Easter weekend. Tomorrow is Good Friday, and most people have it off because the traffic going north here is completely stopped, like holiday traffic, so we haven't had this kind of traffic in a year, but it's back. So people are clearly going, going away for this Easter holiday. So hope everyone is doing well. We wish you all the best. Remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always choose a good one and always do your best. And we look forward to seeing you very soon. You can always find us at GaryAndLisa.com for all your real estate needs. And please go to our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate, and subscribe because we're almost to 1,000. So that's what we want for Easter is 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> so we will see you soon. Thanks for watching. And we love you guys.